Hey guys! Thanks for tuning into today's video. We're gonna do a try on haul for Selfie Leslie. <laughs> it's been one of my favorite companies because they have clothes that are very like boho and cottage core themed, and I just feel like a fairy when I wear them. Their outfits are sexy, yet they're not overtly sexy. They're just outfits that are very cute for everyday wear. And I decided many years ago to start switching over my wardrobe, like when I was right out of college, to be clothing that looks good and to get rid of everything that didn't look good no matter how comfy it was. <laughs> Cause then if I had comfy, nice looking clothing, I would be more up to wear that than my clothing that looked terrible, but it was very comfortable. Ever since I gave my wardrobe a huge overhaul, I've loved it. I've totally loved all of the awesome outfits that I now have. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm more than happy to show you the clothes that make me feel good about myself. And so now we're gonna start out with the first outfit. So this is one of my favorite outfits from Selfie Leslie. <laughs> I love everything about this dress. I love the fabric and the color and the way that it fits me. It's just wonderful in every way. I love the fabric because not only does it have this top bit, but it also has an under piece. So if it floats around a little bit, it doesn't fly up where all of your bits will show. Because <laughs> this is a wonderful dress if you want to go out into a breezy sort of day. That way there's a little bit of movement when you're walking around. There's a lot of movement anyway, but I think there's a lot of movement when you go out and just kind of flows in the wind as well. I absolutely can't get enough of this neckline. It has built-in padding on the sides, so then it's able to scoop me in such a way where it accentuates me perfectly. And I think this would probably be best for any size of from like a B to a D. And yeah, I love the way that it accentuates my collarbones right here. So you can see that's, um, that's how it fits up top. And then if we turn around to the back side, I love how the zipper only comes up about halfway and it leaves my back open, which is really nice. And then it has some beautiful bead work up at the top where I was able to tie it in. And so back to the front, I love the way that this all just comes together and fits me along with the lace detailing and the little detailings here and there throughout the whole dress. I like the texture of it. I like that it's got this little rumpled texture. It's got a very cottage core feel to it. And one of my favorite things about this outfit is the little sleeves. I love how they're just like little wings. <laughs> so if I were to rate this dress on a scale of zero to 10, zero being worst, 10 being best, this is a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love this dress. <laughs> so now I'll show you how I'd style it out. So I just styled this out. I really love how it turned out because this is the type of outfit that I think would look really nice on a slightly breezy day. So I styled it out to reflect that. So I started out with a white hat that kind of also plays off of the light colors that this outfit has. And because of the cut of the lovely neckline that I have with this dress, I decided to fill in the empty space that I have here with a little necklace. I chose a little bit of silver because it's a light color. Um, I feel like gold would just look a little bit too much with this. And yeah, just with a little bit of sunscreen, this would be the perfect outfit for a beautiful stroll in the park. And with that said, I'm gonna move on to the next outfit. Woo, now I'm in this outfit. <laughs> I love this one so much. It makes me look like I'm a rose petal. <laughs> I should start out by saying that this is a romper. It is not a dress. <laughs> so my favorite parts of this outfit are um, the textures involved. So same thing like the other garment. It has an underpiece. I love that it has the this ribbon going on and it looks all like natural and pretty ribbed up in there. Someone had to think of that. I, I wouldn't have thought to do that with fabric. So it's like a light see-through fabric, but then it has these striations in it, which I really, really love. And I also love the cuts of it, how it just flows and layers. I layer my hair, I layer my dresses. <laughs> and in this case, a romper. <laughs> and I also love how I was able to tie a little bow here because I really love bows and I love that it just fits right in with everything, kind of gives a little off set to it. And not to mention just the outfit, but I like the cut up here. I like the simplicity. Um, I like that it has the spaghetti straps on this outfit because I can just throw uh, like a light jacket or something over it to complement it. Because from the back side, it's also very neat tucked up where I can wear a little hoodie and it like tucks in right here really nice. And then all my little flower puddles are showing. <laughs> that doesn't sound weird. <laughs> it's got a good twirl factor. I really like that. Looks good in the wind. Looks good when I'm walking in it. So if I were to rate this piece, it's also a 10 out of 10. Love it. I love the way it's cut, love the way it fits, love the textures and how it feels and the way that uh, the zipper even is. Everything about it's perfect. And so now I'll show you how I'd style this out. <laughs> 
So this is the way that I would style this outfit out. Something very simple, but very pretty. I decided to put my hair up in a little half pony. That way it um, accentuates my layers underneath, but keeps my hair out of my face too. Especially if I go out on a windy day, I kind of want to have my hair out of my face. And like I said, I can always wear a little over jacket too to stay out of the sun some. Uh, so I would probably opt for that, but I don't have a hoodie by Selfie Leslie. I'm sure that they make them little jackets or something, but um, I haven't gotten one from them yet. And then I also decided to style it out with a little bit of jewelry. Just a simple hoop earring, nothing crazy, a little one, not like a big one or anything. This is like a nice little day outfit, so so I didn't go for anything that's too flamboyant. And then I also decided, since I have so much space going on here, that I could decorate it with something that goes down a little bit, so it's covering a little bit with the nice little moon. I like that a lot. And yeah, that's, uh, that's the final look uh, with this outfit. <laughs> and with that said, let's go on to the next outfit. <laughs> I love all the outfits that I have from Selfie Leslie, but this one's really special. I like it for a lot of reasons, but there's also a couple things I don't like about this outfit. So number one, I do love the fit. I love how it accentuates my curve here and it flares out just like their other dresses do at the bottom. It's got nice layering here. I like the texture of the layering. It's also got that under piece I was talking about in my other outfits. So that's really useful on windy days so it doesn't fly up. From the back side, it's very nice. It's a full closed back. So I had to zip it from this way and then I had to come up and over this way. It normally isn't a problem for me, but on this particular outfit, the sleeves are very constraining through here. They just are terrible to try to lift up. The outfit does not have much give to it. There's no no stretch, uh, like, I don't know, 3%? Like, there's like almost no stretch right here, especially, and under the arms. If you're a strong girl, you'll just rip right through this if you go up uh, without uh, thinking about it. So it is a nice piece if you want to pose for Instagram or something like that, but they do have better outfits than this one. This one's not got a lot of give to it. There's also no support here. It's just the way it is. And I would have wore a bra with it, but um, it's see-through back here, like actually translucent. So it would definitely show no matter what bra, like even if a nude bra, it would show the bra. So the most I would suggest is maybe to wear like some kind of frontal bra of some kind. I don't wear bras all that often. I feel like they're just another thing to constrict me. So if I were to rate this outfit, because it is beautiful, it has nice colors, texture. I like the pattern a lot. Um, I give it a solid 8 out of 10 only just because there's not a lot of movability in it and it was hard to zip up. So now that I'm in this outfit, I'll show you how I would style it. Alright, so I love the way that this styling came out. This is my first time wearing a crystalline necklace with something. I bought it and it's been on the back burner and I'm like, well, maybe it'll look kind of kiddish or tacky. But I actually think it, it complements really well and it's quite feminine. I put my hair up to accentuate how much nice sleeves that we have here, which can also be buttoned up. So I wanted to bring out the glory of the sleeves and that there's a back there and everything. So, so the full beauty of the dress is showcased without my hair all over it. And and it brings out the bit of skin that I still have up near my face. And then I filled in this crazy empty space here with the um, accent piece of this like uh, crystal. And to top it off, I have some earrings that match the chain work on the necklace. So if you don't know, um, which is something I found out a little while ago, but for any budding woman, you have to know that in order to look polished, you should always match your jewelry. Like if you're wearing a gold necklace, you should complement it with gold earrings. I also try to match textures. So I wouldn't wear like this chunky big gold earring if I have this delicate necklace. So yeah, here's the final look. I really like it a lot. This is probably one of my favorite looks even though this garment is not the best uh, for movability. It does look very nice. That's why I bought it. I was like, well, it looks good online. I wonder how it is in person. And with that said, let's go on to the next outfit. Here's the next outfit. <laughs> I kept my hair up from the last one because I think I'm gonna style this one out with my hair up. So what are the things I like about this dress? Well, unfortunately, this one does not have a bottom thingy that's keeping you from having it come up in the wind, but there is enough heavy fabric where I don't think that's necessary. I do love the texture and the way that it kind of falls here and then it falls here. It's got a very nice complementary pattern with the cutouts. Of course, it accentuates right here for a nice hourglass shape on me. It's a lot of nice area here that just simply comes down to a V, so then I'll be able to fill that in with some nice jewelry. And the sleeves complement. <laughs> the sleeves are really nice and they're fun. You just gotta make sure that when you're at dinner, if you're gonna wear this for an evening outfit, because I think this could go either way. I think this could be a nice daytime outfit, maybe like late evening into the night. You just have to be mindful that these sleeves don't get in food when you're 
you're eating, <laughs> so uh, or anything else that you might be messing with with your hands. The sleeves could get in the way of that. It's a nice backside too. If you wear a bra, it will show back here. So you have to wear um, like a bra that's just from the front side. I love the way that this is sewn. I love the texture and the fabric. It doesn't give too much in the arms, but if you don't plan on putting your arms past here, you're probably good. And there's a little bit more stretch in this one than the last outfit. And I love the color. It's a very deep navy blue, like the kind of blue that you think is right for a dark blue. So if I were to rate this outfit, I'd give it a nine out of 10. I like everything about it, except it's also still a little bit constricting and it's a little awkward to try to button this up here if I'm not able to reach, you know? So I had to like button it first and leave it unzipped and then get in it and then zip it up so it was not put together the way it was intended to when you're putting it on. So you had to kind of like figure it out when you're putting it on how it works without tearing the garment. And with that said, I'll now show you how I would style this out. All right, so I decided to do a little bit more of the chunky vibe since this is a very simple colored outfit and there's not a whole lot of texture going on with it. I decided to add some. I never really wear my clothes with chains around the stomach, but it's come in style a lot and I do like it. I think it's quite beautiful. So with this chain, I decided to accent the curve of the outfit instead of going straight across, I offset it some because it kind of wants to do that anyway. And there's a little extra here. So I just kind of let that drape off the side and it like, accentuates my curves really nicely there with the way that the outfit is cut. Of course I complemented it with a very similar necklace and with chunky little earrings here that bring it all together. So yeah this is something that I would wear if I was going out on a night with friends like to the beach or if I was gonna go out for a not so formal dinner with my friends. They would be like oh okay and then they would you know go on about their night but it's not too formal where it's like oh she means business but it's like it's just kind of fun and it gives a good topic to talk about with the chains and just the look of the outfit outfit and how like low-key dramatic it is. So yeah, I really like this one a lot. And now I'll go on to the next one. <laughs> All right, and here we are in another outfit and it's one of my favorites. So I saved it for last. Where do I start on this outfit? I guess the texture. I like the texture of this very much. It's got this kind of scalloped um, ribbing to it, which I really like. It has a very long underskirt, so it doesn't fly up at all. No chance of that with this one. I love the design that they have here, how it goes up into this sort of, it almost reminds me of like an Indian pattern, but it's probably just like more boho floral, sort of like flora and fauna type of thing. And it goes up to here with a beautiful neckline where the top of this is actually supported by this kind of sticky stuff, which I put this in the wash and it survived it very fine. So I think that this part that holds it up is very important. And so there is nothing coming out up here, man. This is all staying in. And there is no under bra here on with this. It's just the garment that's holding it up. Plus there's actually this sort of like wire, but it's not uncomfortable. It's it's not like a corset. It like sticks out a little bit. So it's almost like a, a whole me up bra for this whole outfit. And then the sleeves are super cute. You just can't forget to put them in because like I put the outfit on and when you put it on it's kind of like this and then you can just forget and walk out because your top is supported. So you gotta make sure that you slide your arms in there and then it looks complete. And then the backside super cute. Just a nice like shows off the shoulders. Really pretty backside to this outfit. I rate this outfit a 10 out of 10 because it's got good stretch. It's got good maneuverability. Um, I, I can't imagine that you want to put your arms up but if you can you, you want you could put those up there and stretch all day long so and it's super attractive very flattering without being too overkill you can wear this dress anywhere really like for the morning afternoon evening i think it's a really nice dress all around and with that said i'll show you how i'd style this dress out all right, so this is how I would style this outfit for one occasion, like if I wanna go out on a date or if I wanna go um, with friends to somewhere very nice. Like I said before, this outfit can be worn casually, but I do love to dress up and I didn't dress up for any of the other outfits. So I decided to keep this sort of semi-formal by just doing a messy bun, which with my hair type does really well because it's just curly. So if you wanted to style it out for yourself and you have straighter hair, then you just have to keep that in consideration. Maybe you'll wanna curl it a little bit, give it some kind of fairy vibes and I decided to wear pearls with it. I know a lot of people associate pearls like 
my big chunky pearls here with being like an old grandma type of feel. But I personally love vintage stuff and I love how most of Selfie Leslie stuff is cottage core type stuff. And I think that this kind of fits in with it. And I started seeing this new mermaid trend, this new mermaid core trend. So I hope that pearls, fake ones would be preferable, of course, so you don't harm the oysters. But you know, it would be nice to see pearls come back in fashion because I think that they're quite nice with a white outfit such as this. So front to back, it shows off the backside really well, especially if you have a good back, then that's a great thing to show off. <laughs> and then back to the front, it looks, it just, it just speaks for itself. It's so nice. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this try on haul video. If you want to see more like this, comment down below what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. And maybe you can also let me know which outfit was your favorite. You can also tag some brands down below that you think you would like to see work with me and that I work with them. As always, if you liked the video, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks again for tuning in and see you on the next video.